So what we have here is a 10K resistive edge. This is an ASO edge. What's cool about the ASO edges is we can actually cut them to length in the field and install the connectors on the ends of them uh, to adapt them to any, any length we need. Um, I've got the two wires on this edge connected to a connector already. And as you can see, when I, when I measure the resistance on this edge, I've got 10K ohms of resistance. And when I press on the edge, you'll see that resistance goes almost to zero. When I release, back to 10K ohms. So this is a resistive edge, and this is how it works. It's just a conductive rubber material inside here. When it hits something, or when something hits it, rather, the resistance changes. And I'm going to show you how we can connect that to a 1050 board as a monitored entrapment device. So we've got our ASO 10K resistive edge. We've got the two wires of the ASO edge connected to terminals 28 and 29 on the 1050 board, and we're simply going to plug it into the board. Now the UL edge input is defaulted as a digital, normally open input. That means it's looking for just a dry contact. So to change this input as to a monitored entrapment um, in input, we have to go in to functions, go down to advanced settings, and let's go down to UL input, digital normally open. So to change that, we press OK. We're going to change it to analog. And now here we have choices for both open or close. Both would be a wraparound edge protecting the gate both opening and closing. And this is only a selection for our swing gate application. So if we're in learn mode for a swing gate, it's going to give us this option. Close would just protect the gate in the closing direction. Open would just protect in the open direction. So we're going to go ahead and program it as both. So now we've got UL input, analog both. So it's looking for a 10K resistive input right here, which is what it's getting from this device. So now if I go into my learn mode, learn, swing, average. I'm now ready to learn. I've got my motor connected. I've got my limit set. My gate is halfway open and halfway closed. I'm going to press OK. It's going to scan the blue bus. It's looking for my one monitored entrapment device, at least one. In this case, it's going to find the UL or find the um, 10K resistive edge. Now it's going to open partially. Now it's going to close the gate. Now had it not seen that entrapment device, it would have given me a blue bus error and told me that at least one monitored entrapment device was required on a swing gate application. But in this case, it did find the 10K resistive edge. And because I had the UL input set up as a analog input, that satisfies the monitoring requirements on this board. So now the gate's opening one last time. Once it gets to the open position, it'll close for us. And our learning process will be complete. Gates counting down, and we are now to the closed position right there. So now we're ready to operate. Press and holding, or press and release and open. The gate's opening. If something contacts my edge, it stops and closes the gate back. So that was as the gate was opening, I contacted the edge. It reversed it back closed. I'm going to open the gate again. You see it's counting upwards towards 100 as it gets open. When it gets fully open, we'll see if our timer to close is turned on. And it is. It's counting down from five seconds. And once it starts closing, once again, I'm going to contact my edge. I activate my edge, and now my gate is reopening. So you can see this edge is reversing the gate, both opening and closing, just like a wraparound edge on the end of a swing gate would.